Good evening, everyone. As we uh, sit and prepare for Christmas of 2022, I'm getting ready for Christmas Eve myself, and I am reminded of uh, the continue, continued war and conflict that we have throughout the world at this time. I'm reminded of the words of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, who wrote the lyrics for the famous Christmas Carol, I heard the bells on Christmas Eve. In verse three we read, there is no peace on earth, I said. And later in another verse, then pealed the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail, with peace on earth, goodwill to men. I'd like to reflect for just a minute of this story about my own family and how it relates to this Christmas carol. 60 days after D-Day, my father Samuel R. Free arrived on Utah Beach with the 558th Field Artillery Battalion being assigned to Patton's Third Army. From there they were, they pressed through southern France, northern France, and then Belgium with Germans in retreat. Things rapidly changed with the battle known as the Battle of the Bulge. They knew things were getting very, very difficult when German paratroopers were dropping at nighttime all around their camp. It was a very scary and difficult situation. There's a longer and interesting story fit for a movie, a war movie, but I would like to switch gears and talk about my father's courage and kindness with this story told just a few years ago. Upon learning of the passing of my nephew's wife, Monica Foresta's grandmother, I sent a condolences text. To our surprise, we received the following response about her grandmother's connection with my father, Sam. Thank you, Gary and Kathy, for your sweet and comforting words. Yes, my grandmother, Erica Schubert, was born in Schweinfurt, Germany. Her brothers and uncles were all active SS Nazi party members fighting for Germany during World War II. She had PTSD since she was 15 as her hometown was the home of the ball bearing factory that was part of the noteworthy World War II battle. The Schweinfurt Regensburg mission is what it was known as. She recalls running for the bomb shelters during this mission as her town was bombed heavily. Her father was one of the 225 civilians killed during this mission. About a year ago, she told my grandpa Free, she told her grandpa Free, which is my father, that my grandmother was from Schweinfurt. And before I could say anything else, he perked up and said, we bombed the blank out of that town in World War II. Then with a pause and teary eyes, he said, can you please tell her I am so sorry. It was a tender moment. I assured him that he didn't need to apologize and that they would all be friends in heaven one day where no hatred, animosity, or war would be found. I didn't ask about the extent of his involvement, the Schweinfurt Regensburg mission. As I could tell, he was reflecting about the war and it was an emotional moment for him. For me, it was a tender, loving moment and a memory I'll hold closely, knowing and loving both my grandmother Schubert and Grandpa Free both, unquote. Now, Sam, at the conclusion of his earthly life, had his chance to feel what heaven sent forgiveness is all about. So with that thought, I wish you all a Merry Christmas 
and thank you for your kindness in all of your actions and deeds.